The home crowd roared for sure, but it was a strange end to the, the big race of the night because you could tell that they didn't quite know how loud to roar because, sure, they'd got their gold medal winner, but it was the wrong one. The local lad, the poster boy of these games, Michael Jameson, beaten by Ross Murdoch, a man, a young man who comes from about 20 miles away. It was a big shock, and you could tell on their faces, both of those swimmers, how shocked they were with the surprise result. Great start to the night for Scotland as well. Hannah Miley, the chin wobbled, the bagpipes reverberated around the Tollcross International Swimming Centre as she defended her 400 metres individual medley title. Day two promises to be just as exciting. Two international swimmers. Chad Leclo, the young South African, trying to win the 50 metres butterfly. Now he's an Olympic champion, he's a world champion, but this is a short sprint. He's not good at it, but he thinks he's got a chance of gold. That would be another surprise. Aaliyah Atkinson in the women's 50 metres breaststroke would be an even bigger surprise, but she is qualified fastest for Jamaica in the women's 50 metres breaststroke. If she were to win gold, and it looks like she's got a very good chance to do that, it would be Jamaica's first ever gold medal in a swimming pool at the Commonwealth Games.